Hi! Nice to meet you. My name's Kara. It's almost time for school to start. Come on! I wonder what we're learning about today. I hope it's something exciting. Today, class, we're going to learn all about the pancreas. Oh. It's important to understand how our body works. The human body is made up of millions of little cells. Our cells give us the ability to move, think, and grow. These cells need energy. When we eat food, we give our cells the fuel they need. The food goes into our stomach where it breaks up into smaller pieces. Some of these pieces are called glucose. Glucose is the fuel that our body cells need for energy. Glucose goes into the bloodstream which is like a roadway all around the body. Our blood carries the glucose all over the body delivering fuel to the cells. Behind the stomach is the pancreas. When it sees glucose, the pancreas makes insulin. Insulin and glucose travel through the bloodstream to the body cells. Insulin works like a key, unlocking the doors of our body cells to let the glucose in, so that the body cells are happy. They have the fuel they need to help us do all the things we like to do. When someone has type 1 diabetes, the pancreas stops making insulin. This means there are no keys to unlock the doors to our cells, so the body cells can't get the glucose they need. Without that fuel, our body cells go hungry. We may lose a lot of weight because our cells are starving. Also, this can make us feel very tired. Since the glucose can't get into the cells, it has nowhere to go. It builds up high in the blood and spills into the kidneys and then gets flushed out when we pee. We feel very thirsty and we have to go to the bathroom more. Diabetes can be treated by eating healthy food, getting plenty of exercise, and getting insulin injections to get those keys. Oh, look at all this stuff. How am I going to clean it all up? Kara, we need your help. Huh? Where am I? There's something happening in our kingdom, Kara. Can you help us to find out what it is? But... How can I help you? Don't be afraid. I know you're brave. You can do this. There will be plenty of people to help you along the way. Now, Kara, are you ready to begin your journey? Yes, I'm ready. Then let me show you where to begin. Hello, Kara. How have you been? I've been really tired lately. I keep waking up and using the bathroom. I'm thirsty all the time. I don't feel like I have any energy. Well, Kara, I just got your results back and it looks like you have type 1 diabetes. Oh, Dr. B, how did this happen? Did we do something wrong? No, you didn't do anything wrong. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. Kara's immune system got confused and damaged part of her pancreas. And now Kara's pancreas doesn't make insulin like it's supposed to. We were just learning about that in school, but I kind of fell asleep in class. And I had the strangest dream. Well, one of the symptoms of type 1 diabetes is feeling more tired than usual. Your teacher and I discussed how you have been showing a lot of these symptoms lately. That's why we decided to bring you to the doctor. And it's a good thing that you did. Now let me tell you how to take care of type 1 diabetes. First of all, Kara, you'll need to get insulin to help your blood deliver glucose to your body cells. Um, hello? Can you please help me? My name is... Miss Kara! I'd heard that you'd be coming. I am the Red-Blooded Knight. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. The Queen sent me on a quest to figure out what is happening to the kingdom. Can you help me? Well, I don't know what caused all this glue close to build up everywhere, but I can take you to someone who'll know. The Bookworm. She knows everything. The Bookworm can help me? Oh, that's great! Let's get going! But, um... Why did you call this stuff glue close? Because it sticks like glue if you get too close. Wait, I think I hear... The Hemogoblins! <laughs> and who is that? That's the Beastie. He's usually very friendly, but ever since he stopped eating, he's been really angry. Wait, he's angry because he's hungry? 
Where I'm from, we call that hangry. <laughs> oh, maybe the bookworm can tell us how to get the beastie to start eating again. Hmm. We'd better hurry to the bookworm. Everybody come with us. What did you call these guys? Hemo goblins? Yeah, the Hemo goblins. They help me know how much glucose is in the land so I can get rid of it. They're just confused because there's so much of it and it's getting all tangled in their hair. The bookworm is a very wise creature who lives in a huge library, which should be right around here somewhere. You found it! Oh, Professor B, there's glucose everywhere and it's stuck in the Heba Goblin's hair and the beastie is hangry! Whoa! Slow down! Glucose? Hangry? Excuse me, my name's Kara and I'm on a quest from the Queen to find out what's going on in the kingdom. The Queen? Oh, well. If you're looking for answers, you've come to the right place. <laughs> Hemogoblins, come here and let me check you. Hmm, I know that usually you've got a couple of pieces of glue clothes stuck in your hair, and that's normal. But this is way too much. Let me guess, the beastie must not be too happy right now, huh? Oh no, <laughs> he's more of a dire beastie at the moment. Ha <laughs> ha, hey beastie, can you come inside? <laughs> Just as I thought. The beastie is angry because he's hungry. That's what I said. Hangry. I think I know what could have caused this. Hey, Red, are you missing something? Um, let me see. Perhaps you're missing your keys? My keys? How could I forget? Yeah, I used up all the ones I had. I've been looking around everywhere, but I can't find any more. If the keys have gone missing, that means only one thing. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, the kingdom was green and peaceful and prosperous. Two knights were tasked with protecting the land. Excuse me, oh. I'm sorry to interrupt. I, I love a good story, but we're kind of in a hurry, so uh, let me just make sure I've got this straight. The problem here is that there's too much glue close covering everything in the kingdom. And the beastie usually eats the glue close, but he needs the keys to open his mouth so he can eat. Since he can't eat, he's turned into the dire beastie. And now the keys have gone missing? So we just need more keys, right? Is there anyone else who can get us new keys? You've done a good job of figuring things out, Kara. Wait one moment while I find something. Hmm, we'll save that one for later. Now, where is that map? Ah! Here we go. There's another place where you can get the keys you need. It's outside the boundaries of our kingdom, so use caution. You'll need to follow this map all the way to the Tower Vile, which is in Sulin. There you will meet the guardian of the keys. He's the knight they call Sir Ringe. Seek out Sir Ringe, learn his lessons, and bring Harmony back to our kingdom again. Hey, the bookworm said that there's another knight. Ah yes, the stout-hearted white knight. He defends this land, you know, against the Pathogemini, two creatures named Virus and Baxterium. No matter how many and varied were his foes, the white knight always learned which item could best defeat them. How did he know which one to use? <laughs> Whoa! Hark ye! I, the red-blooded knight, and the lady ca- Greetings, Sir Ringe. I... I'm Kara, and, um, we're looking for a special key. Can you help us? I know your quest and the beastie's need. Follow now, as I shall lead. This is it! This is what we've been looking for! Wow! But which one is it? Although you may well think it strange, the beastie's need will ever change. Study how to use the treasure. First, the keyhole you must measure. Use your head and use your eyes. Look for the key of just the right size. I must learn to choose the right key at the right time. 
Oh, good thing I've got a measuring meter. Here you go, Beastie. <laughs> Grab as many keys as you can carry. I think that's all I can carry. Are we ready to go now? Absolutely. Let's head back to the Queen and tell her we've solved the mystery. I can't wait to get back and show the Queen what we've learned. But where did the storm come from? Remember what Syringe said? As rains of ivy gather near, the Gluclo soon will disappear. Take care what enters the beastie's head to keep it truly well and fed. You know, he'd make more sense if he didn't have to rhyme all the time. <laughs> it's okay. I'll take care of you, Beastie. Maybe the Beastie needs another key? Now, I want to hear more about the White Knight. Sure. Well, as you remember... The White Knight protects the land from the armies of the Pathogemini. He did a great job. Well, as good as could be expected. Near as we can figure, though, something went wrong. What? It's hard to say. With all those knocks, he got really confused, even when there was nothing to fight. Wait, you're saying that the White Knight hurt Pancreas, the blacksmith? No, just his forge, the Dragon Islets, which allowed him to make his keys, which I could pick up any time I needed to. And without the forge, he couldn't make the keys anymore. And now, when we need them, we have to get the keys from the Tower Vial in Sulin. Hey, the beastie is not looking so good. What should we do? Give another key? <laughs> What's wrong now? <laughs> Take care what enters the beastie's head to keep it truly well and fed. I have to measure to choose the right key. Oh, I don't think there are any keys this small. Beastie's mouth is already open. Maybe he doesn't need a key right now. Give him some glue close. Maybe that will make him feel better. There's no more glue close anywhere? What happened? I thought I had it all figured out. Why isn't this easier? What can we do now? Oh, let me see. Oh, jelly beans. <laughs> Hark! I think our fortunes have turned! Oh, thank goodness! That was fast! I'm glad Beastie isn't looking so low anymore. Those jelly beans were handy. You should always keep some around. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. But there is so much to remember. I, I don't know if I can do it. Fear not, Miss Kara. Look how much you've learned so far. Just keep at it, and I'm sure you'll do great. Things are looking better. And we must remember not to give the beastie too many big keys, or he'll go low. I'm feeling a bit hungry myself. Oh, he must have been really hungry. He's eating so much. Well, the beastie got really woozy when he didn't have enough glue close, so I want to make sure that he has more than enough. Let's take a break. Oh, 
no. What do we do now? Well, big keys and not enough glue close made him weak and woozy. Now too much glue close and small keys made him red and grumpy. I'm feeling a little confused. But if he needs a key, we can take care of that. Let's measure to know the right size. Okay, he needs a medium-sized key. <laughs> Careful, guys. You might lose your balance. <laughs> Balance? <gasps> That's it! We've got to figure out how to stay balanced! But how? Well, it looks like measuring is really important. Oh, look at that beautiful butterfly! That's Lady Flyroid. She's very helpful to everyone in the kingdom. Charge! Wait! Sir Knight! Stop! What? Who goes there, hmm? Who are you and what are you doing? I'm the White Knight. I'm charged with defending this kingdom, hmm? This bat monster is one of the Pathogemini's foul horde, and I ought to fight it. It's not a bat monster. It's a butterfly. Please leave it alone. Fear not, maiden. I am unharmed, but I thank you for your aid. Looks like his visor is damaged, and he can't see clearly. Hark! Who goes there, hmm? Stand still! Is the White Knight going to attack everything? No, he's still going to continue defending the kingdom. But sometimes, he may get a little confused. We just have to keep an eye on him. Lady Flyroid, you can see far and wide. Will you help us screen for trouble periodically? It would be my pleasure. Lady Flyroid, we're headed back to the bookworm. Can you show us the way? I can do better than that. I can take you where you need to go. Come on, everyone. Oh, thank you. Lady Flyroid, how much longer until we reach the bookworm? Just a little farther. We just have to... Wait, I hear something. Someone is calling for help. We should go take a look. Look, down there. Uh-oh, we'd better help. Step aside, hmm? No need to fear. I will destroy the giant snake monster. No, no, it's just a hose. Stop, stop! But I ought to defeat the foul monster, hmm? It's not a monster! Try lifting your visor up! Oh, it's not a monster after all. It's hard to see through this visor sometimes, hmm? Well, I'll be off then. Please try to be more careful next time. Oh, thank you so much. I'm the gardener. I grow all the food in the kingdom. Nice to meet you. I'm Kara, and this is the Red-Blooded Knight. Oh, we go way back. I often deliver food from the gardener to everyone all over the kingdom. <laughs> oh, beastie. Are you always going to be such a challenge for me to care for? Not when you look after him carefully and consistently. Don't worry, we'll look after you. I'm afraid I still don't understand how to do that. I thought I learned the right way to use the keys, but I didn't remember all of the details. And now I've made things worse. Not worse, Kara. Just out of balance. But we can fix that. Here's three types of food. What can you tell me about them? Hmm. The fruits, bread, and potatoes are carbohydrates. The meat, eggs, and nuts are high in protein. The butter, cream, and vegetable oil are high in fat. Wait, you grew all of this in your garden? Hey, this is your dream. Hmm. It's not that one type of food is more important than the others. You need to have the right amount of all of them. But only one of these will impact the levels of glucose the most. Hmm. Well, when I ate the apple, glucose started snowing down from the sky. And the apple is a carbohydrate. So, I need to pay close attention when I eat carbohydrates to help me and Beastie live in balance. That's exactly right. Seems you're learning quicker than you realized. Lady Flyroid! Kara, the bookworm asked me to deliver this important letter to you. What is it, Miss Kara? The next part of our journey. This letter from the bookworm says that I must hurry to meet someone at the fair. But it doesn't say who. 
I'll take you there. There it is! Thank you for the lift, Lady Flyroid. Now, how are we supposed to find this mystery person? You're late. You need to get dressed. There isn't much time to practice for the jousting competition. Oh, I don't know how to joust. What's going on? I don't know, but if you have to joust, I can give you some pointers. You're going to go down that track and try to hit your opponent with this lance. But for now, just try hitting that target. Try to hit the target. Okay. I'll go check to see how much time we have. While I'm gone, do a few practice runs down the track. A few runs down the track. The competition is going to start in about one minute. Do you want some water? I'm thirsty, but there's no time for a drink. I have to get this right. Kara, you need to work together with the beastie. Beastie? Oh, he's low. You both look tired and hungry. Oh, that's much better. I'll try to remember that with exercise, Beastie needs glue close. We did it! Oh, the real challenge now will be staying balanced. It's time! How are you feeling? I'm excited. And also really nervous. My adrenaline is pumping, and we still haven't found the mystery person that we're supposed to meet. Begin! Stop! Stop! Miss Kara, I didn't realize you would be the person jousting here with me. Did you not have a chance to see the beastie surely needs a key? I guess we were so focused on the competition that we forgot to keep an eye on how the beastie was doing. All of that running during practice made beastie need more glue close. But before the competition, I was really excited, so he needed a bigger key than I would have thought. I guess exercise affects us differently when we're nervous and our adrenaline is pumping. The bookworm asked me to meet you here, but not to joust as it would appear. This map to Tech City is my gift. It looks like you could use a lift. Lady Flyroid, please take us to Tech City. Wow! There it is, Tech City! This must be the place. Oh, Bookworm, I didn't think you ever left your library. Hello, Kara. This is a special occasion. Today we meet the real queen of our land. Oh, I've already met the queen. Is she here now? Ah, the real queen is closer than you think. Your Highness, I am so happy to see you. I'm happy to see you too, Kara. You've been working so hard that I think you've earned the right to hear the truth about who I am. You see, I'm not the real queen of this land. What? You're, you're not? I am what's called a regent, someone who looks after the land until the true queen is ready to take over. Well, but then who is the true queen? How do we find her? Don't you know? Kara, who was it that learned how to help the beastie, won the keys from Sir Ringe, and work to find balance with food and exercise. Hang on. You mean I'm supposed to be the queen? But I made so many mistakes. And you learned so many things. I made some things worse, and I had to ask for so much help. 
Learning from your mistakes and knowing when to ask for help opens the door to understanding. No, I can't do this. <laughs> Beastie needs a key, but I'm not able to measure his keyhole right now. Oh, what do I do? I need to ask for help. Oh, bookworm! Please help! If you measure the amount of glucose in the hemogoblin's hair, will that tell us what size key the Beastie needs? That's a good question. Measuring them lets me know that there's been too much glue close for a while, and that helps me to see if we're making improvements. But it doesn't tell me exactly what size key he needs. I know that there's too much glue close because I ate a huge piece of cake and threw my nutrition off balance. And I know that the beastie needs a key, but I wonder if there's a better way to constantly monitor what he needs and give keys correct... What is that beeping? That beeping is coming from this machine, and it's trying to help you. It works like a pump, trying to make sure you give the right key at the right time. Now that you've shown that you know how to use the measuring tape and keys, you're ready to learn about the new tools and programs being made that will help you manage your beastie. This pump is one of them. That's great. How do I use it? I'm glad you asked. First of all, you've got to catch the beastie. <laughs> You did it! Well done, Kara! Oh, don't thank me yet. We need to make sure the pump is set up right, or we could end up on the other end with too many keys. Like the bookworm says, it's all about balance. Okay, I think that it's set for now. I'll have to keep checking it to make sure everything stays balanced. Mm -hmm. What? Lady Kara, for your quick thinking and unceasing effort, I hereby transfer my crown of authority to you. This domain is yours. All, All hail, hail Queen, Queen Kara. Kara! When we started, I had no idea what was going on. I was nervous and more than a little scared. But with your help and knowing what is happening, I believe I am up to the challenge of taking care of my not-so-dire beastie. I'll always need some help. But I'm not afraid to ask for it. And most importantly, I know I'll be okay. <laughs>